I'm your joke now, huh? I run the show. <laughs> Don't be playing games with me right now. All right, guys. Um, I'll save your sugar free, but. Yeah, not, sure. not yeah you're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm healthy. You're right. Sugar free. Um, Super lows. We're back. Got another week. Lots more Instagram subscribers, lots of followers on YouTube. I think I said that backwards. Yeah. But you know what it is. Keep liking, subscribing, sharing. Thank Check you the guys. interview out with uh, Peter McNeely. If you guys didn't see yet, we did an exclusive interview with the Hurricane. Mm -hmm. What'd you think of it? It was good. Yeah. CT heard. Bro, come on, man. Don't say shit like that. That's true. He slurs, slurs his words a little bit, but he's he's sharp, though. When you talk to him, you can tell he's still all there. All his mm -hmm. faculties are there. Um, I didn't know he was seventh ranked, actually. Bob Tyson, man. That's crazy. Bob Tyson. I think we did a good job. Jordan edited the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Jordan. Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah. Let's get into it. All right. Shout out to uh, Anaya. Shout out yeah. to the Walt Harris family. Mm hmm in this top trying time that you guys are having right now. Yeah. Sad. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. It makes me feel disgusted. Um, if you guys don't know what happened, Walt's stepdaughter got abducted about a month ago, I'd say. Yeah. And they found they, her remains. Last night, um, so that would be Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, Monday, Monday, Monday night. Monday. And yeah, that would make community or the sports community or basically everybody is just kind of we're rallying around Walt Harris. Yeah. So. There's nothing you can say to make that any less of a blow to the family that's terrible yeah hopefully he gets what's coming to him yeah i'm sure dana white will help him out yeah for mrs fight he'll probably get paid so at least yeah that's not that's not even anything he's worried about i feel bad for the next guy he fights to be honest yeah if he fights again that's true if he fights again but if he does fight again i wouldn't want to be the opponent because mm -hmm. first of all no one's going for you like, you wouldn't want to beat him up not for that either. No, the whole world hope is hoping you lose. Yeah. They don't want to see him lose in life and then lose in the cage. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's crazy. But getting into it, we got some uh, Let's get on to a past Bellator. Now. Yeah. A three fight main card. But that's how it all was. That's all it was, yeah. There was a preliminaries, but... Um, I, I'm down to just talk about the main event. Yeah, there was only a main event that I would like to talk Michael about. Michael Benham Page versus uh, a dude that has no avatar on Bellator's website. <laughs> Nobody knows him. He's no Wikipedia page. You can't play him in a video game. You're not going to tell your kids about him growing up as... We've never heard of him. Well, he'll never be on a Wheaties box, I'll tell you that right but now. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's a sugar-free Joker can. He's a can box. What do you think about how Bellator is building up MVP? Because his biggest win in his resume is Paul Daly. And that was not a... Like, it wasn't impressive. He beat... Yeah. And that and Santos is always beat. Uh, Cyborg, Santos, K. Cool. Rookie, Rainey. Um, those are the only two guys we can name. And then he goes up, he fights a real dude in Douglas Lima, and guess what? But he was doing good. He can't find his chin. He was doing decent, though. I think the fight would be different. If you were to play it ten times, but um, I don't know. They'll probably give him one more can. They can't, bro. They can't. They simply can't. Cause he called out um, Lima. <clears throat> he called out Lima right after that. Mm -hmm. They can't. He can't find the can after. He has to fight Roy McDonald. They're probably gonna give him Paul Daly again. What they really should do, just to do him super dirty, give him John Fitch. Oh my god. Just to do him super just. Nobody cares about you, bro. No love lost. John Fitch. And John Fitch would play sick hard. Fitch on him. He would, like, attack him. Eat him. He would, he would grind him. Oh, yeah. It would uh, <laughs> be boring. Yeah, he'd mount, he'd mount him like Askren thought he was going to mount Askren. Mm. I mean, like... like Askren like, was going to bet... What? Like, like, my, he would mount him like Askren thought he was going to mount Khabib. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but that's about it. It was a good knockout, though. But that right hand was something he, fierce. He'll just be a highlight reel for the future. Yeah. He'll probably be put in some kind of Hall of Fame just because of that shit. Nope. Next. You don't think so? No. Off of, he has no wins. He can't be in a Hall of Fame. Highlight reel. He's a walking highlight reel, but he's fighting guys that... He should get highlight reels. That, he, that he's that are out mowing lawns and mm. take uh, doing crossing guard duty. That's the guys he's fighting. They wear red vest or orange vests with yellow X's. That's oh the guys gosh. he's fighting. Okay. They wear hard hats up in uh, electrical wires. Yeah. 
We did have some boxer this week, but let's talk about your controversial Calvin Smith versus. Okay, so Ryder. over in England, yeah. Um, during I didn't see this fight. The zone had a broadcast of Callum Smith, who's the WBA, um, WBC Diamond, whatever the hell that means, and Ring Magazine Super Heavyweight, Super Middleweight, middleweight, middleweight. champion, and was fighting a dude that he had like a f- five or six inch height advantage on. Mm-hmm. The dude's five eight, he's six foot three, and I scored the fight nine rounds to three for John Ryder. Oh wow! And they gave a unanimous decision. Scores of 116, 112, 117, 111 for Callum Smith. One, it, it might be the worst decision I've ever seen. Like, it was absolutely disgusting. Like, I don't know how... It was like Bisping versus Matt Hamill in the UK. Bisping versus who? Matt Hamill back in the day in the UK. I don't... I've never seen that fight. Oh, my God. Bad. Bad. But it was disgusting. Like, mm. it makes you just sick to your stomach. Because, like... The thing is, people are like, oh, whatever, you had a bad decision. No, he won't get another big fight now because now people see that he's a real threat and he's no risk. It's mm-hmm. high risk, low reward. So now he gets no fight. That's um, true. You're taking food away from his family. He, his legacy is now tainted. He now has a loss to Callum Smith, which if he got the right decision, historically a, a win over Callum Smith at this point in time, huge. He's automatically a superstar in England. Could have been Canelo's uh, next opponent. Could have been Canelo's next opponent. Mm. But now... We have this joke of a champion who doesn't... If, honestly, if you're a real man, you hand that belt over. You don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. You don't deserve that belt. Bleeding in his interview. Busted up face. You could tell he knew he didn't win, but he, he couldn't bring it to... Like, he couldn't man up enough to say he lost. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they might have taken his belt with him. Bad anyway, decision. Let's get into Mayweather real quick. Oh, boy. What do you think? Horrible. I, I honestly just think it's him for help... Uh, He's not going to box. I think it's a fake. Um, he's going to be working with Dana just to help him with Zufa boxing. That's all it is. And uh, maybe some, or some of like, I know Mayweather has like an MMA thing going on. So it could be his son. It could have something to do with him promoting his MMA company through UFC. It could be the other way around. So about a week ago, Floyd says, yeah, I'm done with fighting. I don't want, like the risk isn't worth it for my health. Then he started talking about all the deaths in the sport lately. Three days later, 2020 return. Tweets out a picture with him and Dana. At first, I didn't buy it, man, but it's catching heat, man. Mm -hmm. There's talk today that him and Masvidal might be fighting. There was talk a couple days ago that Khabib was supposed to be fighting. Obviously, we know now that's not true. Could still happen. After the Tony fight. But I don't know, man. Like, uh, uh, Floyd is one of those guys where it's like, I take him for his word. Everything he says he does, he's gone and done. Before the May, May Max situation, nobody thought that was actually going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now in 2019, we have sideshow boxing matches with KSI and Logan Paul, and it is what it is. Uh, I wouldn't want to see it. He, no one in the UFC is going to be in a boxing match. You don't give Masvidal a chance? No. No? I don't know. I don't, I'd have to see how Mayweather's looking, man. In a Masvidal fight? In a be, boxing fight? He'll be 43 years old. It doesn't old, matter, man. man. People are make The Masvidal hype's getting a little bit out of shape because he's, like... It's getting annoying. Like I, get, I guess, but Masvidal's hungry. He's working. He's grinding. the day, he's, he's beating, like, okay guys. It's true. Yeah. It's been proved now that mm-hmm. Nate is a, a 500 guy. Till, Askren kind of went down. Till was a hype job. Till is good. Is it, and he was losing that fight. Did he even really um, be Wonder Boy? Like, but he beat Soroni and Gaslam. Pretty good wins. Yeah, I mean Tyron Woodley and Masvidal got something to say about him, but um, I don't know. I, the, the Floyd thing is intriguing. I hope it's. Well, I don't like Masvidal does not have a chance, in my opinion, against like an Usman. It's crazy. That I'm giving him a bit of a chance, and you're not. Who? Uh, Masvidal over Floyd. I like Masvidal. I used to. Actually, I'm starting to hate him now. I liked him before when he had. It's like he grew his hair out and he turned into a prick. You're not no Jesus. Ponytail, baby. Ponytail. He's like he. Sorry about all that. He just got dealt with two years ago by Stephen Thompson in a stand-up fight, and he thinks he could be put in the ring with hands with uh, Mayweather. You got dealt with by Damian Maya less than two years ago. Like he's not. Fi- it's not like he's like. Five and five his last fight. He's well, you're, not, you're not taking him at what he's done lately. It's, what have you done for me lately? The fight business is always what have you done for me lately. 
I'm not in, as impressed as his, most people. His three wins, he's got Cerrone, he's got uh, four wins. Who? Cerrone, Till, but he, he, Askren, and then... Um, he beat Cerrone, but then he, they, he lost to uh, Maya? Maya and Stephen Thompson. Right. And Stephen Thompson beat the shit out of him. And you beat him again. Nah, nah, you're hyping it now. Uh, a point being, Floyd Mayweather, stay retired. We don't want to see you come back. You're literally just trying to steal headlines. So I think I think he did it to try to take headlines away from the Wilder fight. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of sick of him. I don't want to see him come back. I don't want to see a crossword fight with him. If you're going to come back, fight. All right, what do we got? We got some boxing this week. Woo! Do we ever? You going to hit him with a bomb squad? It's pretty. It was actually a horrible punch. You going to hit him with a bomb squad? No. I, I'm not impressed at all. No, I'm not going to do it. You didn't like it? No, I'm not impressed with Deontay Wilder at all. I was talking to, uh, shout out again to Mike last, from work last night, and um, he's a cheat code, but he do, he's a really, really bad boxer. Yeah, but it, it doesn't matter. That's the thing. You hear me out on this. The brilliance with Deontay Wilder is he's so below average with everything when it comes to the sport of boxing except for one thing. That he's built his game around. Can you move this? He's no built his game around that. Mm -hmm. Everything he does is this. He's not gonna expend energy throwing his jab. He's not gonna expend his energy blocking a bunch of punches. He gets hit frequently. Yeah, it's insane. And the thing is, what we just witnessed on Saturday night was one of the most insane come from behind knockouts that we've seen in recent history, if not history. I don't think it was that Think good. of it. He okay. lost every second of every round. And that's every one of his fights. He lost it's every horrible. second of every round, and he touches him once. Mm -hmm. One punch. A 55 old. Almost, old, almost 55 old. How, uh, almost ended. And it, no, not, not almost. It did end the night. That's insane. When you're 55, though, how is your chin going to be? He is a Civil War vet. But I mean, that's not the point. He got in the ring with a man in wheelchair. You gotta give Ortiz respect. The man could fight his ass off. Mm -hmm. He was looking great. I was literally up until the point of the knockout. I'm like, wow, Ortiz. Like what? Ortiz might become world heavyweight champ tonight. What are we doing? What are we? What's happening here? We have J Ruiz as a champ. We had almost had Wallin looked good against Fury, and now we have Ortiz. Thank God, wow, they got rid of him. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine a Cuban that's 57? They can't speak English as the heavyweight champ of the world. Maybe like Jose Aldo is a featherweight champion. Oh my god. I guess. At least Jose Aldo was in like his early 20s. <laughs> this guy wasn't old enough um, to be a grandfather. But, uh, I don't know. It's, yeah, I wasn't that impressed. You gotta, he has to start proving, like for legacy in the future. He is years. the hardest hitting puncher of all time. I doubt that. Okay, name me one. Tyson. No, Tyson is a, is a combination puncher. Watch Tyson Read highlights. That. Watch Tyson highlights. It's always a left hook to body, uppercut, left hook to the head. It's a vicious combination. The man goes down. It's not one shot and the f the crowd's like, yep, that's done. We can go home. I don't know. He's a cheat code, man. And but that's why when he I, fights... I, I think if you put Rumble Johnson in the ring, he his uppercut might be worse. Well, your opinion just gets... Now you have no credibility to what you just said. Um... When you put Wilder in the ring with anybody, he always has a chance because he's such a cheat code. It doesn't make any sense. Can Fury avoid him for 12 rounds? Yes. We saw he can't. We've seen that he cannot. We see he can get up. But take that last knockout away in the 12th round, that's an easy Fury win. No one can even dispute it. Let's say, let's say the knockout doesn't happen mm -hmm. and they still gave it a draw. That wouldn't even, like, that would, not only would it not sit well with people, it'd be the worst decision in the sport ever. Mm -hmm. So, it's, that's, that, that knockout changed the, the scorecards. Mm -hmm. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So, we know Fury can't avoid it, unless we are assuming now that he's going to be in better shape because he was coming off of a long layoff, which I think is also possible as well. But history tends to repeat itself in rematches. I favor Fury to win. I think he does it in more dominant fashion than the first one, but I wouldn't doubt that he hits the deck again. Oh, he'll probably get dropped, but Fury's in that case. <laughs> that fight is February, man. Can't come soon enough. Yeah. It's exciting. Uh, Pay-per-view for sure. What do you think about Ortiz? Does he fight on, or is that 57? Is that it? Is he called a... No, he'll go to he's 60. 
It looks like he's <laughs> Man, I would love to see him uh, take on Dylan White, man. Dylan White? Because Dylan White's supposed to be fighting uh, Harvey Weinstein. In or Pavekin, maybe? Or Pavekin. If Pavek but Pavekin's got a tough fight against Hunter, so I he might not get past that. That's true. But I would like to see him fight some of those guys. Maybe... Um, Tyrone Sprung? I don't know. I was going to say Derek Chizura. Mm. Usyk? Usyk. <laughs> like these guys. I'd like to see Usyk him. would be good for a test. I want Chizura and Usyk to go at it so bad. Please. Del Boy would eat him like deli meat, man. Chisora would win. He'd turn him into spam. Yeah. Usyk, I'm not a fan of at all. Can't crack an egg. We know this. And he's not heavy enough. If Think about Kate. The, here's the difference between Usyk and Tyson Fury. They both can't punch, but one is 6'3", 218, 220. One's 6'9", 260. Mm -hmm. So because he's so small, he can't use his size as a defense to lean on you and smother when you get inside. You know what I'm saying? Well, Fury would eat him up. Well, Fury, okay, he can't punch, but you want to get in close on that. He's only 6'1". 6'3". Could you imagine him and Wilder? So when, when the guy's close distance on Fury because he can't punch, he holds on to them because he's so much bigger than them all. Mm. That's a huge advantage. I think Usyk either has to put on size or go back down to Cruiserweight because he's not going to be champion. He's going to lose his own. Yeah, lose that all. But I respect him for not having for, for having the balls to come up and try it. That's true. What else we got? Uh, we got some fight announcements. We got some fight announcements. We got some fight announcements. All we right. got some uh, Anthony Pettis is going back to lightweight, fighting Carlos Ferreira. That was supposed to be on the fight, uh, UFC 246 originally in Nevada, but Connor's. You know what's coming, yeah. What? Next. But Connor's fight did not turn out today, uh -huh. so it turned into a fight night. It still could be, man. If he wants to fight, he's going to get a fight, let's be honest. Uh, we got a big announcement, UFC 247. We got John Jones versus Reyes. Became official. Uh, yeah. Uh, another easy win for... No one caught you off guard? No, you... No one's Jones. This is uh, showing his face for the first time in 2020 versus Reyes. And he said he's actually happy for this fight because he feels like he has to get a little bit of a contender. We've been tweeting. Um, okay, people are taking too much out of these last couple of fights. I mean, the Anthony Smith fight, he won every round. Like, what are we... We're he what? lost two points and he's still... He won every round, man. No, Anthony Smith didn't win a round. No, I mean, but John Jones lost two, two rounds. Two oh, points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most people would be screwed. Yeah. I mean, and then the Tiago Santos fight. Tiago's a beast. Yeah. I think Tiago Santos would spark Reyes. Yeah. So, I mean... I don't think it's a competitive fight. They're going to try and build it. Oh, he's undefeated. Oh, he's, he's young. He's not that young. He's 29. And he's beat and he lost to Vulcan. And he lost to Vulcan. He got, if you get that's double leg. That's the most controversial. Uh, that's the most controversial fight in my opinion. You got double leg by Vulcan Ostegan. What is Bones going to do to you? See, you beat Weinman, but I'm a big Weinman fan. But you beat Weinman in 2019 or 2020 or whatever. That fight, man. That looked like a sparring match. It was a fluke. It was a joke. It was a joke. I told Weidman you, shouldn't be fighting right now. Didn't you pick Weidman to win that, though? No, I thought he would lose. But people are starting to show too... are, are not showing enough respect for the GOAT, man. Like, they forget who this guy is. Yeah. He's only 31. He might not be the same. 32. He's 32? He's 32 now. He might not be the guy he was five, six years ago. <laughs> Pico Grams. But uh, he's still the best in the sport and the best we've ever seen. I don't know, people just, because he's not the biggest draw, forget. He, it's, he, he has that Roy Jones effect. Like He's, he's so good for it. Mm -hmm. He's dominated so much, people just don't want to watch it anymore. Do you think that Reyes would ever be Cormier? No. <laughs> like, come on. That's what it, if it was Cormier versus Reyes coming up, people would be like, Cormier is just going to destroy him. Right. Destroy him. But right. it's John Jones, and they're like, right, right, give right. him a shot. Um, we also got Shevchenko coming back. Chichenko? Yeah, she's fighting uh, Caitlin Chukukagan. Chuk Chuk I mean... I actually watched her last fight and I like her. I mean, it is what it is. 135 pound champ rolls on. Yeah. Next. And, uh... Is that it for... Claudia's coming back to fight Alexa Grasso. Is she? I believe so. Oh, boy. I don't like that fight. For Claudia? No, I just... I, I think Claudia will win, but I want Grasso to get kind of like a win. Mm. She's my favorite, you know? And then... Favorite. We got the big, juicy, thicky hmm. Khabib versus Tony, April. Yeah, Khabib versus April. Oh, I mean, Khabib, <laughs> Khabib versus April. That Khabib. sounds like Chris Brown versus Ryan. <laughs> uh, or Floyd versus Ryan. Cringe. Cringe. Um, 
Khabib I don't know. versus Tony. Finally, then the Khabib's reign. I think he smashes him. He's gonna really? smash your boy. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not a Khabib fan, but I gotta call it how it is. He is just demolishing people in a way that I have never see, seen at the lightweight division. I think that Tony kills him. How? He's this way. His his his. He is the type of fighter you need to be Khabib. He's lanky. He sweeps. He has great submissions. Fights off his back, which you never see. Will they make it to the octagon? This is the fifth time it's been signed. Will they make it to the octagon this time? It's not officially signed yet, but it is close. They said they're both. It's going to be signed. I have a poll on Instagram right now, and I think a few people have said that Ferguson's going to pull out, and a few people said Khabib's going to pull out. Majority said we make it to the octagon. But those few stragglers have got me worried. Mm -hmm. Please don't trip on a telephone wire. Don't sneeze and blow your back out like Daniel Cormier. Don't eat shrimp and be allergic. We need you in the cage in April. Get your visas. Get everything you need. El Kakui. Just try to be normal for a week. It's fine. We're good. We're gonna we're gonna make it there. And again, we got the second juicy juicy returning. What Paige Van Zandt. Isn't that the juicy one? No. No, she's going no. to the strawweight though because uh, oh shit, or going down. She was at flyweight. And she's fighting Amanda Rivas. Ooh. Why do they feed her these cans? To get her a win? She's coming off a win though, so. Yeah, uh, Rachel Austin. Yeah. Where's she oh. at? I don't know. Bring her back. She's doing the modeling. Five and four. We need her back. <laughs> she's big time. She's big time. I think she's four and five, actually. Oh, uh, don't do it. Stop. I don't want to hear about it. But it can't, it, it, she's a 500 all day. I don't want to hear about it. At least she's, you know what? She's... She's no worse than Arden Lobov. Oh my god. <laughs> he's in the Jason thing. Maybe he's the go. Alright, but I think that's it. That's it? That was it this nothing week. else. There was nothing else. Nothing you want to tell the people. 